Hello, I am Peter Precht, your host of Optometry Profits Revealed, and today I'm with Colleen Galanti. We both started in the eye care industry in the same year, back in 1986, and her first fir- first five years were with glasses galore. Without any further ado, Colleen, nice to see you. Hi, nice to see you. Thank you for having me. Hey, there's obviously a few things that we want to talk about, but uh, describe how much you learned in those first five years and then how it kind of inspired you to keep going. Um, I learned a lot. It was a really busy place and I had some old time opticians that I worked with that just worked with me constantly. Um, and I just, I was so into it. I just like absorbed everything that they were teaching me at that time. I, I love to hear that. I, I, I like to to talk to people about what inspired them or what kind of pushed them to keep going. And I was digging for this a few moments ago when we were talking, and I really loved your answer. You said you're still deciding what you want to do, <laughs> and you know it's a playful thing, but that it, I love that about opticians. Um, and I think that's somewhat somewhat universal, uh, <laughs> for lack of better terms. I think we're always exploring something that we've not quite. <clears throat> come across before which leads me to uh opticians on facebook and it was 11 years ago that you started that talk a little bit about that i think that that's a nice story and simple beginnings but boy what what it turned into yeah so i was i was at a new private practice and i was working alone and just really wanted to um find a place just to troubleshoot or just vent about the day. And Mm. so I first looked for a group for opticians only at that time. And I couldn't find one that just didn't have, because I didn't want doctors in it. I didn't want their opinions, you know, because they think they know and they think they know the stuff, but they don't, you know, and I couldn't find one. I wasn't looking to start one. I was just looking to join one and I couldn't find it that didn't have any, like maybe like 12 members that was looking for something a little more substantial. So then I, I created and invited all my optician friends that I'd known over the years. And then it just blew up from there. So it was really for me just to find somebody to troubleshoot with where you get it quickly. Like I could have called a friend, you know, here or there, but they're working and you're trying to, right. you know, ask this, but you jump online, everybody's online. And then, it, you know, and then it just would, you know, type in, I'm having trouble with, you know, this guy, blah, blah, blah. And here we are. And and not everyone's available at the same time, which was obviously, you know, the, the the joy and the wonder of all social media, but for opticians to connect and connect as rapidly as they did. And my Lord, the numbers, um, you're 34,000, uh, just uh, about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Opticians. Um, and I think that, that they resonate strongly with the back and forth that you just talked about. Um, you know, we kind of briefly mentioned that, you know, it's not uncommon for us to be going back and forth uh, in the working environment, or certainly used to be with optometry talking about things like prism. Sometimes opticians have a better grip of what to do or not to do. Right. And, you know, and when that's done the right way, you'll find that that's a, that's the place you want to (laughs) go. Typically in my, at least in my mind, um, and, and, and the fact that you kind of were looking for a form and there wasn't one. Um, so you, there was, I couldn't find one that was for us, you know. Right. And and look at how much that's resonated with people over, you know, you've been in the 30,000 range for a couple of years now, I think, which is just, to, to, so it, it you went very quickly to that place. And, and like you said, sometimes it's nice to complain about your day to people that have an understanding and can bring it back to make it relatable. Because yeah. if we can't talk to anybody that has an understanding of what we've dealt with, uh, you know, and sometimes people have wonderful solutions on there too. Yeah. Um, and, our, and, our, and our job is so much different than others. It, it's, it's, it's medical retail. So right. like what exactly. else, where else do you have medical retail where we're dealing in a retail aspect, but medical at the same time. So it's just, it's, it can be difficult. And these artistic components of how to do adjustments, how to do it the right way, the, the fine tuning of materials, coatings. You're right. It, 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 and they were dealing with money and selling and, you know. Yeah, completely. 
So let's talk very briefly about the event that is coming up next month, uh, the Mosaic Lounge event, and I'll leave that to you. Yeah, so that is actually coming up really quick. It's next Sunday, October 6th. And I, I'd been thinking about it for a few years of um, putting an independent show together. Uh, I think it's a little more affordable for independents to get out there than the big shows. And some of them are small and those shows are, are really unaffordable, but they can do a lot of these smaller regional regional shows. And um, so I really wanted to do that for them in this community, which it, it's just a good area too, just to oh, access, yeah. you know, for access, you know, to get there. Right. Um, so yeah, and I, lo I love the independence, which uh, social media is really, is where I, I did learn a lot just from this group, from opticians on Facebook and luxury eyewear forum. I did learn a lot about independent eyewear that I, I knew there was some indie brands out there, but you know, like years ago, we just like looked at frame specs and you know, that's, that's what I used to know back in the, in the day. So there's the whole world of all these other frame manufacturers that just create some of the most beautiful eyewear out there. And a whole series of independent labs that have appeared oh, yeah, over over the last handful of years, mm -hmm. which are doing phenomenal work, and that that's really exciting. And to affordable, me. and affordable, exactly. For independence, yeah, absolutely. So this event is going to be where is it? It is it is at Rosebank Winery in Newtown, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, really on the, on the border of New Jersey, so it's easy access for everybody in New Jersey. It's outside of Philadelphia but not right. too far from New York either. So we can, you know, it's, yep. And it's, I know it's, a, it's a nice, it's a nice, it's a nice venue. It's really, it's a, it looks like a beautiful venue. It, I'm is excited. A, it, it is a beautiful venue. And I wanted that because the, I wanted something different, you know, versus just a banquet hall for the show. I wanted something pretty because the frames are. Oh, absolutely. So the event is on the 6th and it goes from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can register for free at mosaicoptical.com. Will there be any giveaways going on for opticians? There will be. So anybody that registers ahead of time will be entered to, because we're, we'll be at a winery. So they do have a store with tasting and wine. Nice. So anybody that registers, they'll be uh, pre-registers. Um, right. will be entered into a drawing for a free tasting and a bottle of wine. So they'll get nice. that. Nice. And then there will be a $500 Visa gift card for Ooh. any that you can be entered into when you place an opening order with any of the, the vendors. So you place any opening order, you get one of the slips, and then you can enter to win the $500. That is fantastic. And also a lot of the vendors are going to have their own little giveaways there are i know that little mm -hmm. giveaways as well yeah yep. yeah that, little tchotchkes sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun um i know that it's a wonderful opportunity for opticians to have some one-on-one -on -one time uh you know to talk with a rep or a frame line and not be bound within their practice and that's always exciting i'm, I'm a big fan of having some connections in in, in a little bit of a downtime type venue yeah know. i think this is also good for some people that aren't really familiar with um, independent eyewear and they've only been using all the, the big uh, licensed brands. So here they can kind of come out and see what's out there and see how different it is. You know, a lot of those, Hands on. a lot of those, you know, major companies, a lot of the, all their frame, all their frame brands, so many of them all look similar, you know, right. where here it's like, cause where I'm at, we're mostly independent and, you know, every once in a while you'll have, you know, a patient come in and it's like, oh, don't you have this brand? Don't you have that? No. I'm like, and then my answer to them is usually like, why do you want to wear the same thing that everybody else in Newtown has? Right. Be different. <laughs> Be different. It, so it, here's, here's our opportunity for those opticians or buyers that just don't know what else is out there. I, I love this Philadelphia suburbs. Um, I, I think they're unique in so many different ways, but you're right. Uh, the diversity and diversity amongst independents is awesome. Not, oh, not yeah. just the, I not love, just there. I love too how the independents are so supportive of one another. Right. They oh, don't yeah. act like they're competing against each other, but they're, they are happy. Like they, I think they like these kind of shows too, because they're for each other 
as well. They all want to be successful. There's enough out there. Absolutely. There's enough pie to go around and, mm -hmm. uh, and the, the, you know, it's going to be nice to have a chance to connect with opticians, connect in that venue, looking forward to that opportunity. Thank you so much for uh, giving me a little bit of time so we can talk about this and make sure that as many people as we can possibly talk to out there, uh, you know, get it out there so that we can all convene next weekend in Philadelphia. <laughs> or yes. outside Philly, in Newtown. Yeah, in Newtown. It's, very, it's <laughs> in, very historic. So people can make a weekend out of it and do other things. And the leaves are changing now. So we have that time. going. It is a beautiful time. Thank you so much, Colleen. You take Thank good you. care. Thank you for having me.